Hello friends, this video on synthetic fibers and plastics part 10 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now when we talk about plastics, we are talking about all the good things related to plastics. It is light, it is uh, less expensive, it is heat resistant, poor conductors of electricity. So as if plastics have got all the good things with it and that is why we make so many things made up of plastics. But actually when you really look at it, you see that plastics harm the environment. Plastic is not good for our environment. Why? That's because plastics are non-biodegradable. Now you might ask what is the meaning of non-biodegradable? Now when you use any object, whether it is made up of anything, once you have used it, what do you do? You just throw it in the dustbin. Let's say you have purchased a packet of chips. You ate the chips. So now what do you do with the wrapper or the packet, which is made up of plastic? You just throw it in your dustbin. What happens to your dustbin? It then goes and it goes outside of your house to maybe the neighborhood dustbin. From there, where does it go? It again goes to some garbage area of your town or city. But ultimately, what happens to that plastic? So what we want is that plastic should be should get broken down and it should get into the environment. I mean, it should not remain as a waste in the environment, right? So here we will talk about biodegradable and non-biodegradable. So any type of solid wastes which we throw, they can be categorized into two types. One is biodegradable, the other is non-biodegradable. Now what do we mean by biodegradable and what do we mean by non-biodegradable? So bio means life, degradable, degrade means what? To break down. So all those waste materials which can be degraded or broken down to simpler harmless forms, they are called biodegradable wastes. That means in the environment itself, those objects or those waste products will be broken down into further simpler forms and that's how they get mixed up with the environment and used up in the environment. So they do not cause any harm to the environment. For example, all our kitchen waste, paper waste or vegetable waste, all these waste, what happens to them? So they also get, go to the dustbin and from there it goes to some garbage area. Now you would have seen that every city has got some landfills or garbage area where all the wastes of that locality are being thrown. Now what happens to these kind of biodegradable waste? They are acted upon by a lot of uh, microorganisms like bacteria and fungi and they actually decompose them and break them down into simpler forms which in turn are used as fertilizer by the plant. So they get degraded, they get broken down and they get, get mixed with the soil. So all the important nutrients go into the soil and then they act as fertilizer for the plants. So that is how biodegradable wastes are recycled in the environment. So they do not cause any harm to the environment. Instead, they actually help in increasing the fertility of the soil. So examples of such wastes which are decomposed by microorganisms like bacteria and fungi. So which organisms help in decomposition? They are bacteria and fungi and that is why they are often called decomposers. So examples of such wastes are paper wastes, cow dung, excreta, agricultural wastes that, that would include all your vegetable waste wood etc. So all these are biodegradable waste. So even if we are using all of these and we are throwing them a lot often that also is not a problem because it is not causing any harm to our environment. But on the other hand we have the other type of wastes called non-biodegradable. That means they cannot be broken down into any simpler harmless form. That means the more we use plastics the more of it is actually getting accumulated in our environment. Right, so what do we do with that accumulation? Because that cannot, that nothing can happen to that plastic. So it is simply being added up. And at the same time, it can even cause harm. For example, plastics cannot be digested by any living organism. But when you have pile of plastic bottles or plastic wrappers, it might happen that a lot of insects or small birds, they eat it up and then they get choked and they die. So plastics are something which is not biodegradable, which is not digestible. So what do we do with so much of plastics accumulating in our environment? So it is actually adding to the pollution. So here in case of plastics, the process of decomposition is either not possible, no decomposition at all, or even if in some type of plastics it is possible, it is very slow. 
So that means the more plastics we are using, the more wastes we are actually adding to our environment. So plastics are one very common example of non-biodegradable waste. Other wastes are in pesticides, insecticides, DDT, industrial wastes, metallic wastes. These are also non-biodegradable waste. But plastic is something which is hugely used by all of us. So a lot of plastics is being used and that is why a lot of non-biodegradable wastes come due to plastics. So therefore we should always remember and judiciously use plastics so that we do not unnecessarily use them and uh, adversely affect our environment. So we should always remember reduce, recycle and reuse. So to save our environment, these three R's are extremely important. When I say reduce, that means reduce unnecessary usage of plastics. So wherever you think that plastic can be substituted by something else, then please do that. For example, instead of using plastic cups for having tea, you can use paper cups or you can even use uh, the small cups which are made up of mud. Now instead of use the polythene bags, you can use the paper bags. So wherever possible, try to replace plastic with something which is biodegradable. Recycle. Recycle and use plastics in different forms. So one plastic which has been used in one form, try to use it in some other form. For example, let's say that you have um, plastics, a lot of polythene bags. Now you have already used them and you just want to throw it. Now instead of throwing it, what you can do is the same polythene bag can be used in some different way to create a bigger plastic which might be of use to somebody else. Or you can, you can just tie, stitch together all the small polythene bags to make a big plastic and that can be used as a cover to your vehicle outside. So you should actually try recycling or reusing the plastic in some other form so that it so that you are not using more plastics and you are not adding to more plastics as garbage. So waste segregation is a must to recycle. Now if you want to recycle it is very important that when you throw your waste all the biodegradable waste should be thrown separately and the non-biodegradable waste should be thrown separately. So that all the non-biodegradable waste can be taken together and they can be recycled. So the same plastic bottles which you have thrown out of your house, maybe the same bottles can be used, they can be cleaned and they can be actually recycled to form new bottles. So that we actually do not create or do not manufacture more plastics. The third one is reuse. Use the same plastics again and again. So let's say you went to the vegetable shop, you bought some vegetables, so they gave it to you in plastic, in a plastic bag. So you brought it home. Now try to use the same plastic bag couple of times, as long as you can, so that you are not using or you are not unnecessarily utilizing some other plastics. First, on, in the first place, try to avoid using plastics as much as possible because the more we use plastic, even though plastics make our life very convenient, but the more we use plastics, the more we are damaging our environment. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.